complete this objective of creating digital content. For us, very much what Peter was saying about transmedia, being connected to the industry and talking to people in the comics industry, there's a very, very grey area at the moment where people want digital, people buy digital, but they don't know what they actually want. It's, I think it's the same thing in every industry. The customer, they're great at making suggestions, but they'll never actually tell you up front what it is that they what they really, really want. So through the funding that we applied for, this coming uh, on the 20th of May, we're going to be releasing our first app, and it's the Digital Experience comic. And what we've tried to do in that there is uh, combine this, this idea of, of transmedia. Um, we're literally putting it out there as our MVP, our minimal viable product, and we know, we literally know that it's not going to do well, but what we want to find out is what, is it that the, what the customers actually want, because there's no point of sitting in isolation producing <coughs> unless unless we know what is needed. So our objective was, was creating a new experience, because digital comics are out there, animation is out there, you can't sell that, the, the market's diluted, but you need to try and sell it as an experience, so we need to know what, what the customers want and what the customers need. So, with this product that we're putting out there, we've put everything on it, as many features as we possibly could, and we know in a couple of months' time we're going to strip them back and refine them, and that's combining 2D and 3D animation, audio, it's very much an audio-visual project, so it is, uh, and at this moment in time, it's, it's just on iOS. Uh, that was actually a very, very conscious decision, because iOS is much more of a consumer market than the Android market, and that's our fanboy type of person that you get with iOS are more likely the type of people, your early evangelists, who will speak up and are willing to, to make suggestions that will, that will help you form a product. Now that was the digital side of things, that was, that was our product, but as, an, as a new start business, as I'm sure a lot, a lot of people know, was that it wasn't going to generate enough cash flow to keep us going, so we, we started looking at, we have a skill set here and creating story sequence at the very very start we used to sell ourselves as producers and publishers of, of graphic alert specializing in sequential storytelling and just to reiterate what peter says it doesn't matter what the format is or what the medium is and in, 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 in the industry that we're in it's very much about about telling the story so we started looking at where, where can all our stories be told and we started looking at marketing and advertising and stuff like that there and we realized that marketers and advertisers these days <coughs> aren't competing with marketers or advertisers anymore, they're competing with follow makers and directors and all the big following guys are coming from TV adverts and stuff now. Everything's being sold with a story. You can see it anywhere on the, on, 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 on the TV. So we started looking at how can we use our ability to tell stories through engaging content, to benefit, to create a business to business revenue model. And we done one for a local taxi company, Sunny <coughs> Cabs, and it was a massive success. It, was, it drove up their SEO, it allowed them to appear in more search engines. It, it was really, the, it, it gave them something they finally post on their social media sites that people wanted to see. It wasn't just straight up pr promoting themselves. And <coughs> off the back of that, we, we got involved in the European e Synergy Project. We were working with uh, mental health organizations, and we were using we were using our, our ability to tell stories to break down large, large lumps of information. So if you had someone coming to, come to a website and you literally had like a wall of text describing what the website, what the organization done, someone with a learning disability can't really interpret that. But through comics, which basically is visual literacy, you can, you can break down very, very complex issues on the single images with a small amount of text. And it, it does allow for the user to be more engaged but also allows for content to be delivered better, and it gives that lasting impression. And uh, <coughs> then, of course, we had the the, 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 EB, the EBM one, which which has been a great success, and Barney's been great for for promoting us everywhere. But more on the digital <coughs> side of things, what, what we're very very interested in now is is off the back of the, the East Energy projects is that we have we're working now along with like a local group, the Tower Museum, and uh, what we're doing is we're creating a, a an app that's a comic app that will be a tour guide as you walk around the museum. So when you come to see the display that's about a local a local guy in 1608 called Catherine O'Donnell, instead of you having a tour guide along me that has to tell you about it, you have an app and you can open up a very short comic and it tells you the story through an anim through very basic 2D animation of the story of it. And th this is this is being done for both print and digital. So 
when you go on the Tower Museum this time, it'll probably take about a year for it to, to go on to qualify. They'll be given an iPad or a Kindle as opposed to a, a tour guide, and then you re return them at the end, and there'll be our stories through this basic animation that will be that will be telling the story. And we're also it, literally everything we've done has allowed us to branch out into, into more and more areas. But the one thing that is without doubt very, very clear is that. We are taking what we are good at, which is storytelling, and we are bringing together the, the people that we need from the digital industry that can help us benefit it. Uh, here locally, I think the main thing is, is that you do have to pull in. It's all about bringing as many people together as possible, because unfortunately here is a wild thing of uh, people might think that they need to go away to get the, the opportunities that they don't, don't realise it's here. So we work a lot with the universities and stuff to make sure that we're getting them, them graduates from gaming courses and, and animation and, and stuff.